Hello all, I hope you're doing fantastic. Dr. Flight here. Um, we're gonna spend just a minute or two, this is really quick, I'm gonna talk about organizational buying classes. Um, now, this buying class idea, um, it, it's really uh, helps you identify how you're gonna sell to different, and you might even call these different market segments. Uh, when you're market segmenting a business, uh, you look for different features um, and, and segmentation. We'll talk about this a little bit more. But one of the features here is how frequently a company buys and whether they buy from you over and over and over again. And that's basically what we're going to talk about. So then again, this is business to business marketing. And this, again, this is only going to talk about one concept, this video. And it's and it's this the different buying situations that uh, companies um, find themselves in and you're gonna have three that's it that's all we're gonna talk about so it's gonna be super short uh, we're talking about a new buy first a new buy is when a company goes through all of the decision-making steps to make a purchase so all six steps that in the decision-making process a company will go through those a buyer will go through those um, and this is when they make a new purchase for the first time um, this is, um, you know, it's time consuming. It's going to involve a lot of people. You're going to have to get agreement, um, you know, depending on how many people are involved. Uh, you have to make sure there's a, an item in the budget for the purchase. So this, needless to say, um, takes a lot of time. Uh, there's quite, usually quite a lot of people involved. Um, and all the different steps are used in, in making the purchase. Um, there can be a little bit of a risk in this, right? Because if you've never done this before, um, then um, this type of purchase uh, is, is, is uh, new. It's, it's something they haven't done. So companies will often be very deliberate the first time they make a purchase. Um, they'll go through a lot of steps. They'll do their due diligence, and it'll be kind of a slow process. Okay. A modified rebuy is when the company needs to repurchase either a piece of equipment or a, um, a supply of raw materials or something like that. So um, they're making a purchase, a repurchase, a new purchase, but um, as they're doing it, they're going to modify this the deal a little bit right they're purchasing a similar product or maybe even the same product but they're altering or changing a few of the specifications um, so let's say you just you made a, a new buy two years ago and now it's time to replace that equipment and you're going to do what's called a modified rebuy what happens is this gives you an opportunity to use a new vendor um, so you're probably going to go with the same vendor, the same per, the same company that you were supplied with in the past, but maybe not. Maybe not. This gives you an opportunity to make slightly different modifications to kind of what you're currently doing, um, but chances are you're going to go with the same company at the same time. If another company comes along to sell you a product and it looks like an appealing offer, this gives you the chance to do that. Okay, so current vendors certainly have an advantage. Uh, however, you're modifying your deal, right? Basically, that's what it is. Last one, straight rebuy. Buying additional units of products, um, kind of just, just like a routine, right? You've purchased this product before. You're going to put a new order in to buy again straight rebuys are, are maintained with the same vendor so you're not changing vendors decision making process is really really short because it's just you're maybe respecifying the deal or respecifying the terms of the deal but you buy it's a straight rebuy it, it, it could even be just automated where two computers talk to each other if i if my computer you know indicates that my supply is low it may communicate with the seller's computer and say, hey, we need a new supply. And the seller's computer just triggers an order automatically. 
and it's seamless. And so it just happens, it's straight rebuy. Um, very little thought goes into these, um, just, they just happen. So if you make the initial sale in a new buy, your goal is to get your, your customer to do a straight rebuy next. Um, and that's all about a relationship, right? If you've developed the relationship with the customer, um, then a straight rebuy will be just the natural outcome of a good, strong, good, strong relationship. Um, again, um, the you know, it involves fewer people. It's a lot easier, easier to do. Okay, so those are the three things that we need to know. All right, um, so let's take a look here. The manager for a Kroger supermarket considers reordering items for a store. He'll negotiate price concessions and quality improvements. The management the manager is engaging in what type of a situation? What do you think that probably is? It's probably a modified rebuy. Um, if they're negotiating new price and quality improvements, then they purchased before, but they're modified rebuy. Denise is sharing with coworkers. She's saying to the coworkers the statement, this customer just made another big order. They just keep on coming. So Denise is a salesperson. She's selling um, to another business. And this customer just keeps on just automatic orders. Denise is likely selling to a customer with which type of buying situation? Probably a straight rebuy because the orders just keep coming, no modifications. It's like automatic. Benjamin, a new sales manager for Burns and Company, was alarmed that the representatives used paper to track the information. He made a decision to upgrade the CRM system. For Benjamin, this represented what type of a situation? So right now, so at Benjamin's company, um, they use a paper system to track customer, customer information. And what Benjamin is thinking is that they need to use a computer system called Customer Relationship Management System, which is a computer system that does digital tracking of customers. So you go from a paper system to a digital computer system, that's a pretty significant change. Something they don't do, something they're not used to doing. And so that would be a new buy that they're looking to make. So they're buying a CRM system, and that would be a new thing for this company because uh, they haven't ever done it before. So that'd be a new buy for sure. Okay, so those are just examples, right, to solidify this concept a little bit more. Um, as you're going through here, just know what these types of buying situations are, these classes of, of, of buyers. Um, and again, you can see how if you're a salesperson, it's, you need to know um, kind of what type of situation you're in and the history of your buyer to know whether they would be making a new buy or a rebuy or a modified rebuy. And then once you've sold to them, your goal is to get them to do a, a straight rebuy every time. Okay, so hey, this is quick and short. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, again, study these, study these, these progress checks so you'll be prepared for the tests. Thanks.